In the previous video we implemented service locator and registered classes and dependencies. Finally, in this video we want to show the news list on the home page. But before doing anything we must call initialize dependency and run app. So I go to the main file and before the run app method I call the function and also use await. Now in the presentation and inside pages, we create a folder called home and then create a file inside it called daily news. Here we first create a stateless class called daily news. Then we return a scaffold in the build method. To show the changes, we need to set daily news as the home and material app. Now first we have to set app bar in the scaffold. So, we define a widget called build app bar that returns app bar. In the title, we set daily news text and then set its color to black using style. In order to be able to use the fonts we have defined and set a theme for the app bar it is better to define a theme. For this, we create a file called app themes in the config and theme folder. Now here we define a theme method named theme which returns a theme data. Here, we need set the background color and also the font name. We also need to define a theme for the app bar, so we define a method called app bar theme and inside it we return the app bar theme. Now here we determine the background color, elevation, center title, as well as the theme of the icons and the text style of the title. And finally to apply the theme, we must set the theme in the material app. The next step is to display the news list. For this we define a widget called build body. As you know we use block to display news, so we return the block builder in the build body and set remote articles block and remote article state. Now let's check the states in the builder. If the articles are being loaded, we will display a circular progress indicator. If there is a problem in fetching the articles from the server, we will display a refresh icon. And if the fetching of the articles is successful, we will return a list view builder. In the list view builder, we set the item count equal to the length of the articles. And in the item builder, we currently return a list tile to test the block to see if it works correctly or not. Now we set the build body in the scaffold and the body property and then refresh the app. As you can see, we ran into a problem. This error tells us that we must provide the block for the desired context. One way to fix this error is to wrap the material app inside the block provider and set the block we want. That is the remote articles block. Now here in create, we have to determine that when the block is created, the get articles event should be called and executed. And now we refresh again. The origin of this error goes back to get article use case and remote article block because the value of get article use case is not determined. To solve such problems, we use serifs locator. To solve this problem, it is enough to use SL instead of block provider and create. The block problem is solved and our block is working well, but we don't see any data. There must be a problem in receiving data. The best way to find out what the problem is is to print the error in remote articles block. The first step to fix the error is to check the API response. And let's compare it with the from JSON method to see if it maps correctly or not. As we can see we have a list called articles in the API response, but in from JSON we did not map to this articles. To fix this problem we need to change the file generated by retrofit. Therefore, we open the file and where it returns the result, we determine that it also considers articles like this. This error is due to the fact that the list cannot be mapped. To solve this problem, we just need to change list to map here. And finally, to solve this problem, we have to change the value type from bar to article model list. Now we restart again. Finally we are succeeding. Now it is enough to specify the type of map we want to return in the map, and we have to set the article model like this. Now restart again and see that the data fetching and display work correctly. And in the last step, we have to work on UI. Because we don't want to work on UI and our main goal is to teach clean architecture. That's why I didn't implement UI in this video. I implemented it separately and placed it in the widgets folder in home. Now it is enough to return the article widget in the list view builder. And finally, now we restart again. You can see that the news is being displayed correctly. In the next video we will go to the local database, so stay with me. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.